um, I decided to film a video of me doing makeup. A lot of you come to me asking for me to do your makeup or how to use it, and a lot of the time I say no because I'm really lazy. <laughs> uh, so I thought this would be a great way to show you how I do my makeup, how to do some looks. I'm probably going to film some more, so look forward to that. I know formal season, prom season is coming up, so look out for more videos. So yeah, anyways, so if you like this look, just keep watching, and I'll show you how to do it. Thanks. <laughs> okay guys, so I'm going to be going in with my Porefessional. Um, it's just a pore filling primer, and I always recommend using primers before foundation, just so you can get a smooth finish, it can stick, your foundation can stick better. Speaking of which, I'm going in <laughs> with my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation. I'm in the shade creamy vanilla and I'm just gonna be taking my Real Techniques sponge and bouncing that on in. Um, make sure when you're putting on your foundation you're blending it into your hairline, down the neck, um, sometimes I take the excess put on my ears <laughs> uh, because we all know that moment when you go outside into the daylight and your face is a different color than your neck. So now I'm going in with my NYX brow pencil in the shade Espresso. Um, and I really don't have any eyebrows, so I don't know if you guys would want to see a tutorial of me doing my eyebrows because it's kind of a lot. And now I'm just going to be going in with my ABH clear brow gel just to pop them hairs into place. And going in with my Wet n Wild eyeshadow primer to prime my eyes. And then I'm going to be taking a translucent powder just to set the primer because um, it's going to ultimately help you be able to blend your eyeshadow more smoothly. And then going in with this super crusty old <laughs> eyeshadow palette that just happened to have the colors I wanted from Coastal Scents, I'm going to be taking this brown, like warm orangey shade in the whole crease as a transition shade and going in focusing more into the crease with this like a little darker, more burnt orange color. And I just kind of blend for the rest of my life now. <laughs> And now I'm going to take a more smaller tapered brush to really focus a, this darker brown color into my crease just to add definition. And after we go in with the smaller brush, we're going to go back in with our fluffier brush, blush, brush, mm, <laughs> and blend it on out. Basically, if you want to learn how to do eyeshadow, you can't go wrong if you just work the color in and blend for your entire life. So I keep going in and picking up a little darker browns each time and I'm really just trying to build up more definition and then I go in and I blend it out with the fluffier brush. So I just kind of keep repeating the process, adding depth. <laughs> so now I'm going in with an even more flat brush to really, um, I have kind of hooded eyes so I like to build up the crease a little bit. And then now I'm going with, a dark, with the same dark brown on the outer V of my eye with the tapered brush again and then blending it on out. Now doing my concealer, I'm taking the Milani um, Retouch and Erase Concealer in the lightest shade because I'm really pale. And I'm just mostly highlighting my face and then blending it out with my um, Real Technique sponge again. Then I'm gonna use the Cody Air Spun Powder to set down my whole face. Um, if you ever have problems with your foundation, like if you hug someone and your face like wipes off on their shirt, I definitely recommend setting your makeup. That's probably why that's happening. And it helps if you, your face gets oily throughout the day and just really helps it last all day. Now I'm gonna be going in with the Flower Beauty Contour Palette and using that bronzer shade to bronze my face. I like to bronze the perimeter of my face, around my temples, my cheekbones, you know, that jawline, try to shadow out that <laughs> double chin there. Really mostly just doing a light contour, nothing too intense. Now I'm taking a small angled brush and a dark brown shade under my lower lash line and then smoking it out with a lighter brown that I used in my, same with in my crease and my transition shade. Um, and then I'm gonna be going in with a black liner in my waterline. Now, deepening up the outer V of my eye for a more dramatic look and then blending it on out.
you basically just want to blend until your hand cramps up and then that's when you know you look pretty now I'm just going to be highlighting my brow bone with that same flower beauty highlighter from that palette and then taking the wet n wild precious petals highlighter and applying that directly to my um, lid space with my finger and then blending out any harsh edges now here I'm just finishing up my eyeliner. I'm using the NYC um, liquid liner. It's like an awesome eyeliner, super black, super matte. The only thing is I think they're discontinuing it, so I think I'll have to find a dupe for it. It's only three bucks, so I don't know if you call it a dupe, but <laughs> um, anyways, if you would like to see a tutorial on how I do my eyeliner, I can totally show you guys. Now I'm just highlighting with a mixture of the Wet n Wild first highlighter and then going in with the Flower Beauty highlighter from the contour palette and I didn't realize how blinding I looked <laughs> so I was feeling myself. Now I'm going in with some setting spray in that same highlighter and just popping it into the inner corner of my eye. Now going in with my Dome Beauty Magnetic Mascara for my top and bottom lashes. Then I'll be going in with some false lashes from the brand Kiss in the style Ritzy and just using some duo glue. Now I need utter silence when applying lashes. <laughs> I think the key with putting on false lashes is letting the glue get tacky. So you want to just like wave the lash around a little bit and blow on it. It's fine. Now I'm going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Liquid Lipstick in the shade Missy and Fierce. And that's it. <laughs> Anyways, so thank you for watching. I hope you guys like this makeup look. Um, I plan on doing more videos, so here I am. I'm on YouTube. Like and subscribe, please. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh my god.